and the other Romyonga woman, my heart is happy to be here talking with you all on my grandmother's and grandfather's country here today. As Ali Donna said, the Day of Faith is always was, always will be, and this year we recognise that the First Nations have occupied and cared for this continent for over 60,000 years. Today we actually gather on the lands of the Wajak Nuna, but near the Jamba of Bilia, or the Kadi River. For the Wajak and the Wada Nuna and Aboriginal Torsha Island have modelled this land, Nala Denpu Hora Yaya Buddha, we have walked this land in the past, still today, and no doubt very strongly in the future, as my dad would say, that's me stealing his quotes if you want to listen. It is people like my ancestors, Nijiguru and Yagan, who were born, walked, cared, fought, and died for their ancestral lands, where I carry on there and many other legacies, and no doubt our children and future generations will do the same. The oral histories of this place are abundant. They have also been recorded in our State Heritage Register, where all around here you can find mythological, water, hunting, camping, artifact, midden, scatter, song lines, dreaming, and creation narratives. One particular place that leads to my family is, uh, and their totem is the Hoya, or the Hoya Dreaming, uh, or site 16717. <laughs> I was born in a place called Waya, or Fremantle, uh, and it's a place of the word of learning Wanyindi, or the dog looks over the stranger, or the crocodile, which is Garden Island. Does anyone know what Garden Island is? Thank you, Mr. Uh, in your mouth, cosmological accounts, the area carries the spirit of the dingo as a strong matriarchal space. That means your Buddha, women country. My links as a collard, any collards in the room? No. <laughs> what about levels? Shores? Tickets? Garlets? This? Thank goodness for that. <laughs> That's the first goal, okay? We should not have. Uh, 100 hands go up. It's like married to Tasmanian men because there was three states in between and the relation I have with I could go on and on and on about how many Nunas are related to, and my please pay my respects to my uncle, my uncle, my uncle, my countrymen, and to the amazing young ladies that are in the room from our community. So I connect all through Nunar Nation, but I also connect through the Midwest, the Gascoigne, the Pilbara, the Kimberley, and believe it or not, the Tiwi Islands. I've been everywhere and can go everywhere, man. <laughs> Many years ago, after being a victim of pretty significant childhood trauma, running away from home at 15, getting into drugs and alcohol and all sorts of mischief, I'm actually surprised I'm even talking with you here today. It was getting back to school, curtain in fact, that I got that piece of paper, but I also connected to my extended family and our culture, and that saved my life, and that's made me the person I am today. A few years ago, the female elders such as Nan Rebel Wigma, Annie Margaret Colburn, and Annie Cheryl Phillips gave me my hookah that I wear today and gave me my Nuna name, Uriak, or the Kanji Pop 2, which signifies the rain or the maker of change. They told me, Go on, be an elder and train, go to leave, but don't you forget us. So I want to pay my respects to those elders that give me that honour to be a young leader and hopefully say something inspiring or empowering to you mom today so you know you actually have the ability to make a real difference. No matter how big or small the action and to empower you like those old women and many others in our community, Indigenous and non-Indigenous, have done for me. Here I go. I have two beautiful daughters, Hayley, her new name is Yonga, and Jennifer, Dungyi, which is Kangaroo and Jolly. And we don't live far from here, we live over near Anga, <laughs> Every day, Yonga travels to school and she goes over a bridge called Mijiguru Bridge. Anyone heard that name before? No. One day I asked uh, Yonga, do you know who Mijiguru is? And she went, nah. <laughs> Hayley attends William Christie Catholic College, in which she, like all students, are placed into a house. The one that she was placed in was Yagan. Every day my daughter hears and sees this name. The name of the man is in fact the son of Mijiguru. But why they use his name, but they don't tell his story at school. I'm just as responsible though for ensuring that she has the knowledge of her connection. So how can I work with the school to make sure that all the Lumen students and staff get it, know the story? Good news is, Lumen now does embrace, now that we've come together, thanks to the leadership of the AEOs, Ms. Finmar, Ms. Stevens, other teachers and administrators, Indigenous and non-Indigenous, 
that these things do need to change and Curtin is also jumping in to help navigate how we do that. But imagine how difficult this job's gonna be. As part of the education, we will have to include content like Minji Guru was the first ever deaths in custody recorded here in the Squadron Colony, ever explained, sorry, executed without trial. Yadikin was murdered, his head was severed, someone got a year's wages for that, and then they sent their head to England and was only brought back 200 years later. Now I appreciate these stories are hard to tell. They make us feel uncomfortable, they're not nice, but they need to be told. So we can heal, we can move forward. They're an important part of our history and our story. But it's very important to know that colonisation plays about this much in history this much here in Australia. Always was and always will be should also support the immense pathogen of knowledge that has always been a part of these particular lands. Knowledge as custodians, we are expected to share with you to ensure that your physical, emotional and spiritual safety here on country. It could also be seen as a, a nice to know, but we don't want to do that. We want to make sure that this information can significantly benefit and can and will modern day Australia's society and life. All brothers and sisters. Our ancestors don't discriminate. They don't care if your skin's white, black, they don't care if you're an evil supporter. Do so we forget that? <laughs> what we care about is that our brothers and sisters from all lands and all cultures learn, respect, acknowledge, utilise knowledge as we will reciprocate the same. If you're a city of Goldsmiths local, you only have to go to Martin. Does anyone know where Martin is? Mongol National Park? Yep. To see and experience how this place always was and always will be full of knowledge. Evidence of ceremony on gathering grounds, resources to carry out those gatherings like Wilkemeyer or Over Pits. By the way, talking about trade, you has been through a trade for a long time. Wilke or Oakwood was the main trade resource in this area. Access to low carbohydrate, low starch, high vitamin and protein rich superfoods such as Yonga, Kara and Pummel, anyone ever think? Yonga, Kangaroo, Kara, Goana, Pummel, Possum, <laughs> Natural pharmaceuticals or medicines such as Eucalypt, Wandle or Gulawa, places of meditation or reflection or wellness activities, said one of Resources to use and create such essential items like blueberries, weapons for hunting and protection, housing, bedding. These small examples, in particular, uh, to um, health and well-being. Practices are paramount, as you would know. And you guys should be able to access that knowledge. Heck, if you're worried about toilet paper this year, I'm going to solve that problem for you as natural toilet paper literally grows on trees all around here. <laughs> Just check if the spiders first, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I would have loved to be there when the first film I figured out that mixing bamboo resin, charcoal, and kangaroo guna, or boo, makes blue. We're talking about innovation. That's innovation. This year, we saw a noticeable insurgence of Black Lives Matter globally, which in Australia has also, we have also recognised our own reflection needs to be had in this space with other people of colour, and the First Nations people. What I took away from the protest that weekend, as I was forced to watch online because COVID, friend that I'm getting, Aboriginal and over 35, no, I'm not going to make protests. Seeing the joy of Pop Ben Taylor and other Yonaz and Rogers as they came together, those who have been advocates for change in this space for more decades than I can count, and the strong aura of solidarity in the air. People want to know more, they want answers, they wanted it yesterday. And you've got to ask yourself, if Black Lives Matter is not the motivator, what is it going to take to finally embrace truth-telling that needs to occur in this country? That being, all the history and heritage of this country is exposed, shared, considered, reflected upon, and celebrated. Uh, to again quote the NATO thing, this year presents us with an opportunity for all Australians to come together to celebrate the rich history, diverse cultures, and achievements of all of our health and the continuing cultures on the planet. Well, Wula, or Burray, as us in would say, this is it. This is the opportunity. But how do we turn it into action? You might ask yourself, how can you empower yourself, your community, and the generation after you around truth-telling of Kura, the time before, yay yay today, where we at, and Kura, how we're going to go forward together as Australians. And if you mob sitting down there on that cold floor, <laughs> think you are too young, think again. Yagan was 37 when he was murdered. He led the resistance in the squandered colony for at least a decade prior. And trust me, there were young pilots just like you 
right there beside him, and we still yarn up that gradient to a number of years later. Could you imagine what Australia would look like today if we actually did this whole work together and yarn and up together thing from first contacts, where modelers discovered our lands? We know if Captain Cook, he didn't discover nothing, you just dropped up. Well, <laughs> we have the power to make that dream a reality if we are courageous and brave enough to take on that journey. And as Australians, I'm pretty confident we can. But what better not to do that than our schools, our young mothers, that go for it. Go and do what you know you want to do. Put, put your courage and hand for it. May we go forward from here, brothers and sisters, hand in hand, for the future brothers and sisters, two worlds, one journey. Thank you.